Neuroblastoma is the most common solid tumor in children outside of brain tumors, and it's classified as a, a tumor of primitive or early nerve cells that most commonly occurs in the adrenal gland, which is a small area above the kidney. It is also possible for neuroblastoma to develop anywhere where nerve cells exist, which is anywhere along the spinal column as well. About 600 new patients a year in North America are diagnosed with neuroblastoma. We're very fortunate at Texas Children's Hospital to be one of the largest pediatric cancer centers in the nation. Because of that, we see a large portion of patients with neuroblastoma diagnosed every year. At our cancer center, we see typically 10 to 20 percent of neuroblastoma patients in the nation. Our entire team is dedicated just to the care of patients with neuroblastoma. There are some patients with neuroblastoma where their disease stays in just one part of their body and they can be treated either by just observing them with no treatment at all and the neuroblastoma will get smaller and smaller and eventually go away. There's other patients with neuroblastoma whose tumor stays in one place and those patients will need treatment with chemotherapy or surgery to remove the tumor. And there's another group of patients with what we call high-risk neuroblastoma. Their tumors have a tendency to spread to other part of the bodies, including the bone marrow or the bone or the liver or other organ systems. Those patients with high-risk neuroblastoma also receive what we call immunotherapy, where we use their own body's immune system in order to attack their tumor. Sometimes we use a treatment modality called I-131 MIBG therapy. This is a very unique treatment and we're very fortunate at Texas Children's Hospital to be one of the few hospitals in the nation that's able to provide this very specialized and unique treatment for our patients with high-risk neuroblastoma. We have a very large clinical trial program, especially for patients who have their disease not respond exactly how we want it to to frontline therapy. One of the trials that we offer is for patients who have high-risk neuroblastoma who have had their disease unfortunately return. We have a therapy where we use the patient's own immune system using what we call a CAR and KT cell or part of the body's immune system to fight their own cancer. This is the first time ever that this type of immunotherapy has been used to treat pediatric patients uh, with cancer and we're very fortunate that researchers in our lab were able to develop the, the, this type of therapy and that we can provide for our patients. When parents are looking at places to bring their child for treatment of their neuroblastoma, they should be confident that at Texas Children's Hospital we will give the utmost care to, to their child. We understand that this is a journey and a long journey that affects not only the child but also the entire family union. And because of that, we have specialties and areas to help the entire family. We have programs to help the siblings with the process. We have support groups for the parents. We have multiple things to, to, to support the patient themselves going through the treatment as well as novel, state-of-the-art, cutting-edge therapy for their child. We always tell our families that their treatment doesn't end when their chemotherapy or their actual treatment ends. They're our patient for life and there's multiple patients that we keep in touch with while they're in college. We go to our patients' weddings. We're, they're, they're, they're part of us and they're part of our family. 